Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 21286. This build includes a couple of notable new changes over the last few preview builds we've had. Uh, so let's not waste any time, let's dive straight in. So you may have already noticed it on the taskbar down here, there is now a weather widget, which if we click on it, will open up this sort of news feed slash weather feed, which gives you the latest headlines the latest weather in your area, as well as the latest financial information, traffic updates, etc, etc. So it's sort of like a mini Cortana back in the days when Cortana used to give you sort of your overview of the day and stuff. This is sort of that. So yeah, it basically gives you a, an overview of what's going on in the world. Um, I'd like to see them add more to this at some point, like maybe upcoming calendar events and whatnot. That'd be nice to see. Uh, and maybe even recent documents would also be really nice to see. But hey, this is what it looks like so far. If we come up here, there is a drop down menu. You can see your connected account and you can manage that by clicking here, which will open the settings app and then take you to this page for some reason. There's nothing specific in this UI that's um, that configures what's going on here. I don't know why it takes you there, but maybe they're planning to add something to that page at some point. Then there you can change the language and content. All of these links here will take basically take you to uh, the web browser. Uh, which, you know, is a kind of disjointed experience. It is early, so I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I would like to see this much more integrated when it's done. Um, if we click show more news here, this will simply open Microsoft Edge once again. Um, it really does sort of act as a as a quick launcher into MSN, which um, I guess isn't so bad. If you like MSN, you can like articles here with, oh, you can even give them different emojis. So you can see here, we can change the emoji if we want to, which is interesting. Then there's also a refresh button up here, which will change all of the headlines and give you a fresh set of new ones, although it still doesn't seem to be working right now. We can also edit our weather location if we want to. We can even hide the weather card, and there's some more settings that we can configure at the MSN website, which is kind of cool. You can... So you can hide this if we right click on it. There's a news and interests menu here now and you can make it so it shows only the icon. So just the weather icon rather than the weather icon and the temperature. And then you can actually just hide it entirely. There's also a reduce uh, taskbar updates button, which I don't know what that does yet. I have a feeling that this button will eventually show you like breaking news or headlines in addition to just the weather. Um, which you might want to turn off when that starts going live and I guess that's what that would do. Uh, but I don't think the headlines feature is actually working right now um, because this is an early build. This isn't, you know, final. We're still in the early days of uh, this feature. So there's plenty of time for it to improve. Uh, for example, if we actually enable dark mode here, you'll see that uh, the UI isn't entirely consistent in dark mode yet. Uh, if we go over here. Enable dark mode and relaunch this interface. You'll see that... Um, this interface here doesn't immediately change. You do have to restart the Windows File Explorer. So quickly restarting the File Explorer, you'll see that now the actual card interface um, is dark, except the scroll bar. The scroll bar is still using light theme for some reason. Microsoft really needs to get around to updating that. And also if we try and share an article from here, uh, it will use this very not Windows share interface. The actual Windows share interface looks nothing like that. In fact, we can actually show you what it looks like by going here and pressing on the share button, which is should be somewhere. Yep, there it is. So this is what the actual share UI looks like on Windows 10. And for some reason, this new fly out interface, this new news ticker is not using that. And it really should be. If Microsoft really wants to achieve a consistent design, it really needs to give up on this idea of using different designs in different parts of the interface. It really must, it should be using the same share interface as everywhere else in Windows, but for some reason it's not. Again, early days, they've got plenty of time to fix it. Maybe that's just a temporary solution whilst they work on wiring up the necessary things to get the share UI to pop up when you click hit share. Who knows? But Microsoft, if you're watching, you know what to do. You need to update that because if you want a consistent UI, that's the stuff you have to get right. Anyway, so that's the new uh, weather sort of news ticker thing. Kind of interesting. I hope that becomes a little bit more useful in the future. Um, moving right along, the next notable change in this build is in the settings app. If we go over to system here and go down to storage, Microsoft has finally ported the storage spaces feature into the modern settings app. And uh, 
it works as you would expect. So the old school control panel one is going away and this replaces it. Uh, I don't have any discs to set this up right now, unfortunately, but you can see how it would work just like the old one, but with a new UI and the new settings app instead, which is super cool. So that's basically it for this build. Not too much in it, but the things that are new in there are kind of notable. So I figured I'd do a build video. Uh, thanks so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.